जियोबाइट हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जियो बाइट सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू कंप्लीट द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव कंप्लीट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री हाउ फंक्शंस आर रिप्रेजेंटेड एंड हाउ फंक्शंस हैव देयर डोमिनेंस एंड रेंज एंड हाउ द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यूज ऑफ ईच फंक्शंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई राइट टेक अबाउट द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो वी हैव like six functions sin x cos x tan x sec x cosec x and cot x so i will really uh, represent the everything in graphical form so the first one is y equal to sin x so in my previous class we have studied how to convert radians to degree degree to radians and how the maximum and minimum values of each functions are so the maximum value a function can take is maximum is 1 and minimum is 0 So, a minimum is minus one also. So, uh, first is y equal to sine x. So we can say that how this graph is represented, for obtained. So, uh, we know that sine pi by two or sine ninety degrees one, which is the maximum value. So I have take this is the maximum value and Sine zero is sine zero is zero. This is the minimum value. This is the minimum value. And what is sine pi? That is also also zero. And what is sine three pi by two? It is minus one. So it is here, here. And this is here. Sine pi zero here. So, with these four points, we can draw the graph like this. So you can form a sine wave. This is we call it as sine wave. So, this is how we will represent. So we can find that there is a maximum value at pi by two and a minimum value at zero. And the same with pi. Now coming to y equal to cos x. Y equal to cos x. How? What is sine zero? Cos zero or cos zero is equal to one. That is here. What is cos pi by two? I have already represented that the graph form, uh, the table of form. With all the values, with maximum, minimum values, and for each functions, from there we can find out this. You can find out that in my previous video. So what is cos pi by two? Cos pi by two is cos ninety degree is equal to zero. Then what is cos pi? Cos pi is minus one. So. This is the graph. So you can complete the take the other values and complete this thing, and you have can see that maximum values here and the minimum values here. But see here the maximum values is shifted, shifted this much. See this much is shifted this side. So this is how we represent the y equal to cos x. So similarly, y equal to tan x. When will be the tan value be maximum? The maximum value it can take is one. When it would be tan forty five, right? Forty five degree or tan pi by four. It is one. That is sine forty five by cos forty five degree. It is one by root two by one by root two. It is one. So similarly, you can take. The y value and x value, and correspondingly, you get the graph of y equal to tan x as this graph. So, so these are the three basic graph: y equal to sin x, cos x, and tan x. Now we will come to cosec x, sec x, and cot x. So. 
Coming to the next three graphs, that is y equal to secants, cosecants and convex. So we know that y is equal to six. It's one by secants equal to one by cos x, right? So it will be the opposite of what we get in the cos x graph. That is this parabola. And there it was in this type, right? It was cos x was like this. Now it should be opposite side because it's one by. Now coming to cosecants. What is cosecants? Y equal to one by sin x. Right. So what was the graph? It was like this. So it should be opposite. Similarly, y equal to one by tan x. So there we obtained graph like this. So it should be opposite. So it is very easy if you understand first three functions, you can just do the opposite of these three functions. So because it's just one pi. Similarly, now we will solve one problem with the sign. Last class I have told you how uh, the sign of each functions are different, are different in different coordinates. I will write that again. With this we can solve one problem. We always have to take care of that sign. This is my first quadrant. This is my second quadrant. Third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Have to always take care of the sign according to the quadrant. So the question is, if cos x equal to minus 3 by 5 and x lies in the third quadrant, Find the values of other five trigonometric function. You know that ASTC. It's in the third quadrant. That is why cos x is negative. In the third quadrant, tan and the complementary angle, that is tan and cortex are positive and x all others are negative. So that is why cos x is negative in the third quadrant. So that is it is given minus 3 by 5. Now we have to find the other five angles, values of other five angles in this quadrant. So we'll see how to do that. You know that cos x equal to minus 3 by 5. So what will be sec x? Well, first we find the all other 5 angles. Okay. 1 by cos x. That will be minus 5 by 3. Right. So we got 1, 2. Now 3. Third one. We know that sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1. I have proved this in the previous video. Now we find what is sin square x. 1 minus cos square x. 1 minus 3 by 5 the whole square. 1 minus Decide the sign later. Now, fourth one. You got sign. Then what will we will get easily? Cosy, right? It's 1 by sign. That is 1 by 4 by 5. It will be 5 by 4. We will decide the sign. Now, fifth one is tan x. What is tan x? Is sin x by cos x right so what is sin x minus 3 by 5 by 4 by 5 it is equal to 3 by 4 now what is cortex it is 1 by tan x that is 4 by 3 now we got all the uh, Six angles. Now we have to find how to assign the signs. We know that tan and its complementary, that is tan and cot, they should be positive in the third quadrant. Quadrant. It's written third quadrant. So we can say 
here tan x is equal to positive 3 by 4 and cot x is equal to positive 4 by 3. Now, what about the other angles? We know that sin cos is minus 3 by 5. Okay. Now, what about the secants? It should also be or negative, right? What about the sin x? It should also be negative 4 by 5 and cosecant should also be minus 5 by 4. So all angles except all angles except tan and cot all others should be negative in the third quadrant. So that is why we have put the negative signs here. So this is how you do the problems. We have to see which quadrant our function is lying and which value is it's how the value is and which quadrant the function is lying. So according to that we have to use this table find out the values of the or signs of the other functions. Geobyte.